What's up, Cal Gang? We're back at it again with another line integral problem. You know what it is. All right, so line integral problems. Pretty easy because it gives you everything, right? Look, we have x is equal to t, or you know, we have x and is a function of some variable t. Y is a function of some variable t. Z is a function of some variable t. All we have to do is plug it in there, right? So let's do that. I is equal to the integral. So we even have t is equal to one to two. So y becomes two t the ln of t. And then what do we do with the dz, right? Uh, pretty simply enough, you can imagine, we actually are given z, so what we can do is we can say dz, right? Take this over. It's equal to the derivative of this, which is one over t, right? dt. Boom, right there, we just plug that in. And actually what we're gonna find is this is gonna make this problem a lot easier. Now we have, uh, again, x ln x, so x, is equal to e to the t, uh, so e to the t, ln of x, so natural log of e to the t, that's just gonna become t, dy, so we have to do the same thing for dy. What is dy gonna become? It's gonna become two, pretty obviously. Let's do that, y, is, or dy, is equal to two dt. So what we're gonna have to do is multiply all of this by two, uh, two dt, and then minus, don't forget the minus. Y, so Y is 2T. DX, DX, what is that gonna become? I don't know, guys. <laughs> Pretty simple. 2T, uh, E to the T, DT. All right, now we have our integral in terms of T, and this is just a count one, right? But uh, what we gotta do is we gotta simplify to figure it all out. So t divided by t, obviously, so it's going to be 2 e to the ln t, which is just going to become t, plus, so it's just going to be plus e to the t, t, 2, minus 2 t, e to the t, dt. Actually, we can just bring out that one big dt. And what you'll notice is that these two are just going to go boom, boom, boom. They don't exist anymore. And now we're left with probably the easiest integral of all time. Right? The integral is equal to 0 to 1, 2, t, dt. How do we solve this, guys? I don't know. It's pretty tough, right? So it's just going to be t squared, 0 to 1. Just kidding, guys. I definitely didn't mess up on accident. Uh, I'm so used to these t's going from 0 to 1 that you actually, I just forgot that it isn't always 0 to 1. It gives us, it goes from one to two. So it doesn't always go from zero to one. Most of the time it'll go from zero to one. And what you want to do when you can create it is make it go from zero to one. Uh, but I guess in this time, they just want to say one to two instead because they're cool like that. So it's one to two, one to two, one to two. So it's not actually equal to one. It's equal to four minus one, which is three. That's your answer. I hope you guys are paying attention because I was not. So uh, yeah, but that's simple enough. Good luck guys on your calc homework. Good luck on your calc tests. I believe in you. I don't believe in myself.